Hey, I'm Corrine Levy, and welcome to Rumor Has It, the show that rounds up the week's biggest tech rumors. And you can vote on what you think about the rumors, too, in the interactive player if you're watching on CNET. This week is all about the many shades of tech. And by shades, I mean colors. So many colors. Oh, and remember BlackBerry? Yeah, let's get started. First up, Samsung is holding an event on September 4th to reveal its next phablet, the Galaxy Note 3. According to Sam Mobile, the Note 3 will initially launch during the first week of September in black and white variations, but it will then debut in pink by late October. But here's the catch. The pink version might only be exclusive to South Korea and Taiwan. Samsung has not revealed any specs for the Note 3, but some reports claim that it'll have a 5.68 inch Super AMOLED 1920 by 1080 display, a 13 megapixel camera, and a choice of 16 gigs, 32 gigs, or 64 gigs of internal storage. It might even capture video in 4K resolution, but that seems highly unlikely. Mostly because what would you play those videos back on? Your $5,000 television that you don't even have? Next, a Reddit user posted an image of an Xbox One that the person says can be ordered by Microsoft employees working on the Xbox team. The image shows a white Xbox One with a white controller. The Kinect would still be black. Nobody can confirm this image, but when asked about it on Reddit, Microsoft's Director of Programming, Major Nelson, answered, maybe way in the future. What might not be so way in the future, though, the black Xbox One could be released November 8th, according to gaming site Kotaku. That means it'd be out a week before the PS4. Nice move, Microsoft, but the Xbox is still $100 more than the PS4, so who really wins here? Next, we can't finish this color talk without mentioning the next iPhone. We've talked on this show before that the iPhone 5C could come in a rainbow of colors and that the 5S could come in black, white, and a special gold champagne color. But according to Apple tracker Sonny Dixon, the company is planning to launch a fourth iPhone 5S model. He posted images to his blog featuring what he claims is a new gray or graphite iPhone 5S with a black trim. Color me, not impressed. Although I'm super into the gold iPhone. I love a little bling with my ring. <laughs> Get it? No. And finally, poor, poor BlackBerry. Right on the heels of it possibly putting a for sale sign on itself, it now might be looking to spin off BlackBerry Messenger into its own company, called BBM Inc., according to a report in the Wall Street Journal. At BlackBerry Live in May, the company's chief executive said that BBM would hit other platforms this summer. Well, it's now the end of August, and we haven't seen much in that department. According to the journal, though, BlackBerry has been moving executives into its messaging team, and it's working on adding features like video chat. What do you guys think? Is a spin-off BlackBerry Messenger going to help the company? Do you use BBM? Would you? Don't forget to vote and leave a comment, and I'll ask the CNET Council what it thinks. The CNET Council is composed of five editors who cast their votes anonymously. Their opinions are not an endorsement by CNET or CBS Interactive. Obviously, because these are rumors, folks. And the CNET Council's verdict is... Yes. Three out of five editors think that BBM will split apart from BlackBerry. One editor says that shortly after, the rest of BlackBerry, sans BBM, will go away forever. Rest in peace, BlackBerry. That's our show, everybody. Please share your rumors at rumorhasit at cnet.com or call us at 1-800-750-CNET and tweet us. And tune in next week for more tech rumors.